them at home. My name is Melissa Mattingly and I am the event producer in the events and rentals department at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And my special co-host today is my daughter Ellie. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> now you might be wondering, what's an event producer? Basically, an event producer or an event planner is someone that plans fun parties and events for people. And who doesn't like parties? Do you like parties? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like parties? Of course, everyone loves parties, so it's a really fun job. Now, my job at the museum typically starts after Rex has done his end of the day parade and the museum has closed for the day. That's when I wave my magic wand and turn the museum into something special for different types of events. Um, sometimes there are events like a prom or for somewhere like a business where your family might work um, or holiday parties or what's your favorite, Ellie? Weddings. Weddings. Weddings are my favorite too. Um, so today we're going to give you some tips and tricks on planning your own at-home party as well as a fun craft. Um, now of course I don't really have a magic wand at my job, um, but to people coming to an event that's what it can look like. And as an event planner your job is to transform spaces into something special. Even in times like this where perhaps the only space you can work with is your house. Um, so today um, I'm going to teach you how to get your home party ready by focusing on one of my favorite parts of party planning. And Ellie, do you know what that is? Decorations. <laughs> That's right. You can't have a party without decor. Um, and do you know one of the most common decorations used at parties? Flowers. <laughs> Flowers. That's right. Flowers are a great way to instantly make any space more beautiful and special. So our craft with you at home today is how to make your own flower decorations at home for your at home party. Um, and so the materials needed are, hold, say coffee filters, <laughs> markers, um, these are washable markers, they can be any thickness. Um, you want some tape, you can use scotch tape or if you have some decorative tape, that's fun too. Um, and then some sticks that will be used for your bouquet stem. Um, now, if you don't have something that looks like this, you're welcome to use pipe cleaners or straws or popsicle sticks, or you can even go out in your backyard um, and pick up some actual sticks that way. Um, and then finally, you also need some small glasses or jars um, that have about an inch of water at the bottom. And so from there, the first thing you're going to do is grab a coffee filter. And you want to make sure on your table that you have a piece of cardboard um, or something that's safe to get color on it. Um, with the coffee filters being so thin, it can transfer through. Um, and so a coffee filter, as you see, has this ridge and then a circle at the bottom. So you want to flatten it out and draw a circle, kind of trace along the circle that's in there with your marker. So you can see Ellie's working on one there, and then here's an example of one that we've already done. So you want to do at least six of these to make your flower bouquet. So once you're done with your circle, the next step is to fold. So you're going, cut your son. Um, so you fold it in half once and twice, and it kind of makes a little triangle here. It looks like a pie slice. And then you want to get your glass of water, and with the tip, you kind of push the tip together and fluff out the top and then you insert it into your jar. And you want the tip to just barely touch the water. You don't want it to get too wet. Because um, as it goes in, you'll see that the water will start to absorb through the coffee filter up. Um, now, it will take about five or 10 minutes or so before um, it's ready. You'll know it's ready because the whole um, coffee filter will be wet and the color will make its way all the way to the top. I'm gonna do yours. And so once that's done, um, then you're gonna go to the drying process. And so for drying, you will take it out of the water and you'll lay it flat again on a towel or a newspaper or something like that and let it dry. Um, it only takes about 10 minutes or so for these to dry. Of course, you can always speed up the process by going outside in the sun or with the help of a grown up, you could use a hair dryer or a fan or something like that. Um, once they're dry, then you're ready to take your petals and turn them into a bouquet. So once again, we kind of repeat the process a little bit as before, where you want to fold each one in half once, twice, and then 
and this time three times like this. And you want to make, here we go. And you want to make at least six of these. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And then once you have your petals, you're going to begin by holding three of them in your hand. And then you'll put the stick up through the center, and then you'll wrap the other three petals around that to cover the stick. Then you'll get a strip of tape, and you'll just wrap it around the stick and the bottom of all the flowers, like so. It might look a little bit messy to begin with, but then once it's all together, then you can start to fluff out each individual coffee filter and you can kind of fold it in different ways to make it look larger and more like a bouquet. And it should look like this at the end. That's right. And then once it's done, you can find a jar or a cup um, to stick it in to make your own centerpiece. Or if you're doing a pretend wedding, this could be your bouquet as you walk down the aisle. There you go. Switch it to that. Um, and so that's it. So thank you so much for joining Ellie and I today as we brought the museum to you at home. And please, please, please share your at-home party photos and flowers with us because we would love to see what you came up with. Bye. Bye.